Hey, everybody, welcome to day 88 of Safer HaMitzvos. We're continuing to talk about um, the different forbidden relations. These are kind of on a lesser level, whatever that even means, which means your capital punishment is sreifa, which isn't considered as severe. Again, pretty bad um, because these are things we do not do because we're holy people and we behave in a holy way. Intimacy is the holiest thing. And if it's trampled on, it's very, very delicate. It can be the worst thing. So um, the first one is very interesting because it is not written explicitly in the Torah. This is mitzvah, Rambam counts as mitzvah 336, where you're not allowed to sleep with one's daughter, incest with the daughter. Um, and by the way, it's incumbent on both the daughter and the father if they engage in this, unless it was, in any of these instances, unless it was rape or was forced, that's when the victim isn't held accountable. But for the most part, meaning if it was, if, if they both know what's going on, then they, um, then they're both held accountable. So why is a daughter not mentioned? So first of all, should be kind of so obvious, but also really, if we need to be very technical, the next thing which we're going to read is mitzvah da, 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 335, which is that you cannot sleep with your granddaughter, your daughter's daughter. So if you can't sleep with your granddaughter, obviously you can't sleep with your daughter. And that's the short of understanding need to spell that. Then we have next seven, which is your mom or her or daughter. Then Mitzvah 338, you can't sleep with your grandmother or your granddaughter. Basically, your granddaughter, uh, either from your son or from your daughter. Um, and then Mitzvah 339 is maternal grandmother. Basically, goes through every scenario of any parent or any child from any side, grandchild, et cetera. Um, and again, the silliest thing, we can travel on it. Uh, it was the case of rape and that, but otherwise they both are. And may we be reminded of the holiness that we have to obtain in all areas of our life. All right, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.